Uh, let's go. I'm gonna save here just before things happen. I don't know if there'll be any more fights exactly, or... I think this is pretty much just the part of the game where I'm just gonna go explore everything and talk to everybody. Because apparently we're supposed to, so... Oh, what? Um... Wait, what? The coffin is empty. He didn't notice before, but there's something like... Mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Uh... Wait, hang on, did all the- Guys, there's something very spooky going on here. All the coffins are open. All the dead humans are gone! I don't know, maybe a sequel. <laughs> oh, apparently we can call Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I'm learning so much! For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this! <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It's a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? LOL! That stands for lots of laughter. Sinceri sincerely, Toriel. It also stands for uh, lots of love. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. So, okay, the coffin room being open is kind of uh, terrifying, honestly. How are you? You've been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you're not getting into trouble. Only kidding, lol. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. Oh, I make no promises, Toriel. I make no promises. Alright, so everybody's asking me who's my favorite character out of the bunch. And honestly, <laughs> I can't really, like, come between them. Like, they're all so good. They've all given me so many laughs throughout this adventure and so many, so many feels. Papyrus has the best jokes. Sans has, like, the best comedic timing. Toriel's just compassionate and awesome. Undyne is just the cool one. She's, she's pretty cool and she's got that fiery passion for cooking. And Alphys is the anime lover. She's just, they're all just great. They're all just great, honestly. I don't know if I could actually say I have a favorite. Like, they're, they're all just so vastly different. Like, you can't really, like, choose between them. It's like choosing between your children. It's like, I, ca I can't. I can't. I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time or ever again. Oh, okay. Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we'll st <laughs> we still haven't gotten a chance to ride it. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Let's talk to the MTT guy. Freedom. So we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me, er, then he told me, don't think that means you're getting off of work. Ah, my boss, I love that guy. And by that, I mean I hate him so much! Those girls? The ones, who, the ones who saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so at last I'll never see them again. Don't tell anyone about this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I, I feel like I played a hand in it every, somehow in everyone getting free. Even if it was just working at this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Future. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. 
Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But as I say, nowhere but up. Nowhere to go but up. Literally in this case. Let's see, is there anybody else to talk to here? Yeah, there's, there's this guy, hello. Whoop whoop. Now we can live life without reservations. So, if we're leaving, well, my job, uh, and I just got a raise. Well, guess every apple has its core, eh? The surface world, really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without <laughs> running into a puzzle. Amen. Oh, we're all free? Oh, I guess I can stop licking this ficus. Why are you licking the ficus? But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. I don't know. Why is he licking the ficus? Who knows? Who knows? Let's see, is there anybody over here? Room service never came, sigh. Service never came. No response. Trying to finish up work. Oh, remember to call Toriel every single room. Okay, okay. I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to. S s all right. I guess she misspelled it. It's diff. It's difficult to use uh, this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's great to pass through. How about the sisters? Freedom. So, we're like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human. Oh, really? Well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was... <laughs> Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. Um, no. <laughs> We've like, literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? future. What do you guys want to do? Now that we're going to be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy, but Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it all. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. <laughs> you like cats? Yeah, I love cats. Me, I love cats. They're like so tasty. Oh, they're like so cute. Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just like the other day. There was like this cute little white cat walking around. It was like, so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Catty. Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. I'll send you a message. Sans will be typing from now on. Ah, this game, man. This game. Dine told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface. If all the humans like you are like you, I think I'll be a modest success. Hey Frisk, it's Torio. I just baked one. <laughs> wow, one million pies. Do you want any? Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. All right. Oh, Sans. All right, there's probably nothing over here. 
I apologize if I don't talk to every NPC in the game. I feel like I'm probably going to miss at least a few. Hey, do you remember my name? Do you? Uh, sure. Well, why do you remember? How can I be so easily defeated? I actually don't remember his name. That's really kind of awkward, I'm sorry. Anything back at the lab? Probably not, huh? Eh, yeah, let's just check. Oh yeah, that was his name. Heat's Flame Man. Heat's Flames Man. We don't have to go back into the lab, do we? Oh, the lab's locked off anyway. But man, what a game. What a game. This is definitely an experience that I haven't had in a long time. Okay, okay, okay. I we able to have a nice drink on the surface. Honestly, like, I haven't liked RPGs, like, in a long time. Like, my love for RPGs, like, it's not gone, gone, but I mean, it's just not as strong as it once was. Um, this was refreshing. This was a refreshing RPG, honestly. Like, this was really fun to go through and really interesting. Um, so I mean, if you're still watching at this point, I still recommend getting the game, even though if you've watched all the streams and all the videos, you're pretty much spoiled to the entire experience, but I still recommend playing it. There's so many neutral endings I didn't show, so many little secrets that I will probably never get to show. Um, let's see, where do we want to go? We want to go to Waterfall. Um, Apparently something different happens if you do a genocide run first before a pacifist run. Um, I probably won't be doing that since, you know, we're doing pacifist first. Um, I don't even know if I will do genocide. Who knows? I can't bring myself to kill these characters. That'd be terrible. But maybe I'll get over it. Maybe. People are still finding new dialogue in the game. Like, it's insane. So I highly encourage anybody to just go out and get this game. It's well worth the ten dollars. What did I ask him? No, oh, what did I ask? Ah, hang on. All right, fluffy buns. Why? Oh, didn't we? Did we do all this before? Nah, I don't think we did. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. Why do we call them Fluffy Buns? <laughs> it was the monthly address of the castle, and the queen was giving a, her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still on, and it was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience bur burst into laughter. Realizing she, <laughs> she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms, the crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buttons, and the rest is history. Is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me, Toriel once wore a flower pattern Moomoo. Folks kept saying nice Moomoo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. Aww. So she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age, and probably will be forever. Huh. What if a child- wait. <laughs> what if the child is a human? Nah, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Interesting. I didn't know that's how the aging system worked. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Because everybody knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? 
The two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are over. I'm dying. She's really come a long way since since she was a little urchin. I used to be a he I used to be a hero back in the old days. Gerson the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though most of the time, the folks she attacked weren't the bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Let's see. Still a certain village we gotta go check out. I wanted to tell you about my neighbor's daughter, but you walked right by me before I could tell you. Fate has decided that I should not tell you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. She gets money, the snail bought a hat. Ah! Snail, snail! You reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail, snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. It's a snail. You wonder if Toriel has seen it. Oh, hello. There you are, Frisk, darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Elf has completed my wonderful new body. Oh, did you hear the barriers open? I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before finding you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talent to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Chiron's agreed to be my backup singer. And Bl Naps, Naps to Blue here will be my sound mixer, er, mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? They get to be a musical group. Oh, Metaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi. Human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on, when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had such faith in my fake sleep before. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting down and listening, listening to my tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on my farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Oh, okay. I won't forget it. Sundine's house still on fire? Yep. So you helped us all get free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. That happens, dude. It happens. Yeah, the Kickstarter for this game was like back in the... The 2000, like, dang, I'm gonna say two, like 2013. I'm gonna say the 2000s. No, it's not that old. Uh, but the Kickstarter for this game was like two years ago or something. And it was met with an overwhelming success, I think. At least I'm pretty sure. But yeah, this game is definitely well worth the money. If you have Steam, like, you owe it to yourself to buy this game. This is probably easily. Like, in my top five games of this year, easily. Like, I don't know if it's number one, but it's probably even in the top three. Might even be number one, I don't know. Honestly, this year didn't really have too many other contenders in my eyes. Like, I didn't really play too many games this year. We can go see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. Oh, you'll figure it out, buddy. You'll figure it out. I forgot to get to the Temmie village. Eh, we'll get it on the way back. See, I told you I'd mess it up. Three gold for the fairy? Oh, well. Oh, he gave me the three gold back. What a nice guy. Oh, but man, what an adventure. What an adventure. 
I'm sorry I'm not saying much about it, it's just... What do you say about this game? This game was just like... Really, it's like nothing I've ever played before. Like, okay, it's similar to Earthbound. Like, I've played Earthbound before, but... but yeah, it just... This was just something, you know? Like, it definitely had that Earthbound spirit, and I really like that about it. How two games could be so similar and yet so different at the same time. This is an Echo Flower. Oh. Just love how everything's happy for everybody. Everybody's happy now. Look at all these happy little trees. So there was a secret I wanted to show you, but it didn't happen. I was expecting Sans to pop up and judge you again like he did in the neutral end. Uh, there's a secret way that you can get Sans's key and go into side of Sans's room. And also into their back shed, and I really wanted to show you guys that, but I guess I don't get to. So, uh, if you want to look it up, go ahead and look it up. It's kind of interesting. Having an amorphous shambling family member is great. They're always moving. So I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Oh man, that's horrible. Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait. We're dogs. That's normal stuff. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so take out as- so make as much noise as you want. Oh my! There's so much news to report, I don't even know where to begin! Oh, how about this headline? Uh, didn't really get to see the headline. How about top ten monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Alright, what was the first? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, it doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top ten monsters? Okay. <laughs> top ten monsters that got freed from the underground! Number 10. Alright. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big THE END on the front and call it a day? My great- the greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's junior jumble. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop- I'll be able to stop smiling. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. How about you, Mr. Wolfman? <gasps> oh, you're done! Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. But why did you have to throw ice in the first place? Ice Wolf thinking of changing their name to Jimmy Hot Pants. <gasps> See you later, Jimmy Hot Pants. <laughs> Thanks for all the ice blocks. Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans! Hmm, will we play monsters and humans? Do they just call it humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. The adventurous spirit, I'm like a kid again. And my children are like, dull children. <laughs> ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah. My patience rewards me. Okay, it's still the same thing. Alright, we'll take this fairy later. Uh, anybody here at Grillby's? Hey, there's still people at Grillby's. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. I wonder if the overworld has a hot guys and neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Might need to sober up there, buddy. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have, or seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. In the end, I never caught any girls in my fishing line. So, kid, take it from me. Don't try the. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere, you hear a whine <laughs> whinny of dismay. 
Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Groby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying anyway. Wow, I don't think that's how a translator is supposed to work. It finally won a game of poker against itself. You go, lesser dog. You win that poker game. Hang on, was there anything in the... Jukebox is broken. No! I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful thing she's done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Wow. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics! Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing something lately. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. I wouldn't say that. But yo, I just found out some found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she talking about papyrus? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yep, she's talking about papyrus. It'll be nice to show humans our tradition, our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Uh, I wouldn't say that. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have my pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Oh, <laughs> awkward. Uh, is anyone else weirded out by the giants shambling amalgamates, or... They're, they're alright. They're pretty cool. Hello, sorry. No time for a nap. Snowed, snowed in is shutting down, so we can all go to the surface. Mom says we can go out to the, or er, we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. Yeah, you'd think if some monsters wanted to stay down here, they could. I mean, you can pretty much walk between the worlds now. What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange white flash, and then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human, I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'm sure, I'm sure to give them a hero's welcome. Hello, this is me, I'm the human. Did you hear? The ruins have opened up. And get this, they were open from the inside. Apparently, the queen had been staying inside there for God knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? What do you do in the future? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I haven't planned much of a, uh, more than that, I'm afraid. Hey. Take it one step at a time. Goodbye, Snowden. Now the question is, if I walk all the way to the ruins, do I have to walk all the way back? Probably. Probably. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? Aww. Bigger on the inside. Bigger on the inside, you say? This dog is a time lord. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. Poor thing. Um, this is a secret room I never figured out how to open. It's a door. Um, does anybody know how to open this? Who knows, who knows. And those eyes are creeping me out, though. Stop staring at me with your special eyes! So it's not possible to open the door yet. Interesting. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. Wait. We're all free? Oh, okay, okay. I'll stop logging. I'll stop lounging around now. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Probably not. Ah, uh, 
all the puzzles. And I don't have to solve them again. Hey. Heh. I guess we'll go to the surface. There are woods there w that I can live in, right? Yep, plenty of woods. Woods as far as the eye can see. Unless you're in a city. In which case, eh. The Switch is stuck now, okay. When did, I don't know, knowing this game, I was gonna say, the Switch is happy that everyone gets to go to the surface. Ha! Huh. After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? Oh. Don't worry, buddy, we'll always think about your hat. I should talk to the mice. Nope. <laughs> Seeing the spaghetti is still here now, I hereby donate it to the public. It's like a playground for your mouth. That spaghetti's been there for so long, I don't know who would want that, but I mean, hey. Ah, there's the word search. Actually, this game really isn't as big when you, like, walk from beginning to end. It just feels long because there's so much to do, so many battles to fight. But in the grand like, scheme of it all, like, the world's actually not too huge. I'm worried, I'm worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers, like, 20 teen. I tried it. It doesn't work. Maybe you'll have more success than I did, but it, believe me, it doesn't work. I'm officially 22 teen now. So, did you take that piece of me very far away? Where's the piece? Uh. Okay, so a little bit of backstory. I screwed up. Um, in the first playthrough, we accidentally ate the piece during the dog fight, the uh, the married dog fight. In the second playthrough, I did so well. I brought the piece all the way to Metaton, and I was ready to bring it to the very end of the game, and I accidentally ate the piece again. It somehow moved its way to the front of my inventory, and I accidentally clicked it since it was the first thing that popped up under item. So I hit the button too fast, and I accidentally ate the snowman piece. Uh, I really wanted to see what would happen if I brought it to the end of the game. But yeah, I screwed up and accidentally used it. That was the one time I was hoping I would lose the fight against Metaton, but nope, I won it on the first try. The doctor! She brought my wife back from the dead! Wait, what? How? My son! He seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Snowy. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she'll still be my mom. And that's cool, because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Ah, uh, man. How about up here? It's a fishing rod. You know what it is? Yes. Don't attach to the end. Never mind, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The rod that was supposed to catch the hot women. <laughs> There's always other fish in the sea. The conveniently shaped lamp. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're almost home. Basement. And can I just 
just say how much I love the soundtrack to this game. Like, I really do. Like, I know I kept saying that throughout the playthrough, but I really, truly do love the soundtrack to this game. I've been, like, listening to the soundtrack non-stop. It's insane. Just how good this soundtrack is. <laughs> I did not say any of that. Yeah, I forgot to call Toriel, didn't I? After every single room. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being s <laughs> What? Help, I'm being slandered. Oh yeah, I guess there was a hint at the beginning that Toriel liked jokes because of this book. I forgot about that. So even from the very, like, first episode of this little playthrough, the seeds have been sown. Oh yeah, that, that, is, that is some good storytelling like, uh, right there. I really like that when, when games and stories do that. There's just little hints and little clues just strewn about the adventure. This is Sans Frisk. Did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good and <laughs> Excuse me. I think Sans is trying to take the phone away. <laughs> Sent you a message titled Cat Video. Inside she meticulously describes a video she saw of an animal. Small of a small white animal. There's no link for the attachment to watch it. Oh, Toriel and the wonders of technology. Wait, what? Oh, there's something new. Forward. Send this to <laughs> send this to someone you care about, or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. God, I hate those kind of messages. Thought you might enjoy this. It's an Ascari art of a snail. Dear Frisk, Undine and Papyrus went to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you're lucky, you can have some. I want some. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I st started a band, do you know what we would call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL. P.S. That, that is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Sure thing, Tori. Sure thing. I don't think she'd like to be referred to as Tori either. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone up here. She's <laughs> she could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. <laughs> Dreamer and femur! Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you should not tell her anything funny, did you? Uh, I told her that anime was real. Um, whoops. I mean, it's real. Totally real. I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be ver very healthy. How nice. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I think I may t have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. Alright, I'm gonna call her one more time. Toriel has not sent any more messages. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Toriel. Hang on. Is there anybody else to call? About papyrus? Okay. There's no response, but their phone might be out of batteries. Alright, so we can't call anybody anymore. Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try for a relaxing shade of green. I, g I agree. I like green. Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? Um, actually.
Actually, is there a fourth frog in this room? I feel like there probably might be. Ribbit, ribbit, say. Now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right. Pressing X. You've really, you've really matured, haven't you? Is there a frog in this room? Froggy? Maybe there's a froggy in the wall? Froggy, 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 froggy. Froggies. Where's this room's fourth frog? <gasps> I found it. Did I find it? There's an ant-sized frog in the crack of this wall. It waves at you. I found the fourth frog! It's an ant-sized frog, though, but I found it. <laughs> wow, he wasn't kidding. Proceeds got real spiders. The cheese. Man, we haven't saved in a while. How about this rock? The exit's open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push pumpkin? Uh, I'm trying to give him a trying to give him a push, but he won't move. Just the fact that there is stuff like that, like ant-sized frogs and walls, like just the detail of this game is just so amazing. It really is. I know if I pushed the rock, I'd be stuck, but I want to set him free. What was up here? Oh, whoa! Did I never? Oh my god! I was never in here, was I? It says take one piece. Uh, take a piece of candy. Take one. Try to take a piece of candy, but you didn't have any room off. Oh, yeah. Dream. Through determination, the dream came true. Your, your XP, your HP was maxed out. I almost said XP. That would have been bad. We don't want our XP to be maxed out. Took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Monster candy. You ate the monster candy. Huh. I guess this was here at the beginning of the game. I <laughs> never noticed. Whoops. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscious per er, conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud, ribbit. Uh, was I supposed to use all these dreams during the Azrael fight? Uh, that's awkward. I hope I wasn't supposed to. Oopsie, I hope I didn't miss anything important. Uh, I didn't even know those were there. I remember when Torio thought that we couldn't walk through this entire room by ourselves, and look at us now. And when she had to hold our hand to walk through the spike puzzle. Memories. Oh, I can't talk to the dummy. Oh, whoops, I messed up the puzzle. Oh well. Here we are, at the very beginning of the game. Supposedly there's something very special here, so let's see. <gasps> Asriel! Hello?